Germany is famous for its beer, but the Chinese brand Qingdao is gaining in popularity here. Cheers. Why do you choose the Chinese brand? Oh, just because to learn something new and it tastes very good, and I think it's on the same level like German beer. Qingdao beer started exploring the German market in 1980, and now sells about 3.6 million bottles in Germany every year. Despite the rainy weather, the ship delivering the beer has arrived on time. The huge ship behind me is carrying 15 containers of 20,000 bottles of Qingdao beer. It has traveled 32 days, coming all the way from Qingdao City on the northeast coast of China to Hamburg in Germany. Nearly nine million containers passed through Hamburg last year. Around a third of them either came from China or were headed there. Brisk trade between the two countries dates back hundreds of years. Yeah, I mean, back in the 13th, 17th century, it was China. It was engaged and、uh, connected with between Europe and all the European countries, and that's basically、uh, what was so successful and 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 over a long period of time. It's promised to become even more successful. The Belt and Road Initiative keeps Hamburg very busy, and also benefits Chinese companies trading here, including the Qingdao Brewery. Thanks to the new maritime Silk Road, we can fully use the oneness of the logistics of Belt and Road-related countries to speed up our steps of entering the European market and other markets in the world. But perhaps no one benefits more than the shipping companies. Out of the 100% of cargo we are discharging, importing here into Hamburg from all over the world, 45% is coming from China. That is almost a half. On the export side, is 35%. We, from the whole cargo we are exporting from via Hamburg, 35% are going to China. It's also a very big portion. And that shows how important China is for us.